Good evening, I'm Jack Fujii, and welcome to the ninth session of Agriculture 194E, Focus on Agriculture. Focus on Agriculture is a one credit course offered by your College of Agriculture, Forestry, and Natural Resource Management here at the University of Hawaii at Hilo. And we come to you live every Thursday evening from the television studios located in the Mo'okini Library here on the UH Hilo campus. We also come to you by way of the Hawaii Interactive Television System and your local educational channel. Before I go on, if there are anyone uh, out there that has to get a hold of me, there are several ways you can get a hold of me. And if I could have the Elmo, please. Uh, you can get a hold of me by uh, snail mail at 200 West Kawili Street, Hilo, Hawaii, 96, uh, 96720-4091 or by phone at 933-0850 or by fax at 974-7674 or by email uh, at jfujii at hawaii.edu. Since we are coming to you live this evening at approximately 8 p.m., those of you in the viewing audience and, of course, those of you here in the classroom can ask questions of our guests this evening. So I hope you uh, jot some notes down and uh, give us a call at approximately 8 p.m. We have another very interesting presentation for you this evening. Uh, we have uh, Margie and her gang here from Hilo. My guests this evening are Margie Hanselman, and also joining Margie, we have uh, Minoru Hironaga. We also have, uh, you may as well wave over there so they'll know who you are. We also have Edna Hironaga, uh, Vicky Kalika, Millie Canal, and uh, Charlotte Fujioka. And uh, these girls, they all got a medal, so you might show your medal. They, they <laughs> won a cooking contest uh, this past weekend. So we're going to do some real good local cooking for you this evening. And I'm going to turn the class over to Margie. So Margie, why don't we do some of that uh, award-winning cooking? OK, thank you, Jack. <clears throat> What you see in front of me is um, I'm going to have fish soup later on in the evening. And um, if you can see, I have the uh, papillo, some opihi, and shrimp. So this is a little of my version of the Filipino soup. And what I'm going to do later on is I'm going to put miso. But in the meantime, um, it's going to take a little while to, to cook our uh, chicken on the stick. We have, what, we, what I did is I soak it overnight. And um, what I have in it here is flour, sugar, cornstarch. I have a little sesame oil. And I sort of soak it in, and it, it looks like this better here. Can you see it? OK. And Vicky is going to help me get started with the, uh, they call, I call it chicken on a stick. It's the it's, uh, same procedure like how you do uh, chicken katsu or uh, tonkatsu. What we do is like we put it in egg wash. and what I did here, this is the panko, and um, I did it on my winning recipe last week Saturday at uh, the Taste of Puna. And the difference I did with this fine panko, I added macadamia nut in it, you know, I chopped it. And sort of fine, not really fine, but enough to, to, to roll the, your chicken, you know, in here. So we don't have to dip it in the egg wash because we already have eggs in it. So I have two eggs in here. So that's what makes the batter. Okay. Is that hot, Vicky? Okay. What I usually do is I'm going to just dip the chicken stick. Um, actually, I use the breast of the chicken. And um, it's very thin cut real thin like you know 
they call it cut fancy. You can get it into supermarket and it's already cut for you. And all you do, uh, thin slices, just you know, um, cut it in strips. And, and um, then you soak it. After I soak it overnight, then I put it on the uh, screw, the bamboo screw, okay? So Margie, can you go over the ingredients again for the sure. marinade? The marinade, I have um, at least one or two pounds of thin sliced uh, breast chicken, two cloves, I usually grate the cloves, one small ginger that is also grated, about three tablespoons of cornstarch, three tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, about one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of sesame oil, and two eggs. And what you do is just mix all that together and then uh, you, 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 it comes like a batter. And then you uh, soak it overnight. Okay. And then when you, when you get it out from the uh, refrigerator, then, then we put it in, I usually put it in uh, canola, canola oil and about 350 degree, between 325, 350. You don't want to burn it. You want to uh, have it nice golden brown, and this is what Vicky is doing now. What she's doing is she's uh, uh, dipping it into the panko mix. The panko, so the panko and the- panko mix uh, is about half-half panko half, half. and uh, macadamia nut. Right, uh, right, one-on-one, one one-to-one, on one, one okay. yeah. Okay. So we'll get that started. Vicky is going to continue doing this here. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to kill two birds with one stone, right? I'm going to do the fish now. And the fish, if you see, this is fresh papillo right here. I don't know if you can see it in here. OK, um, I want to thank um, Ray Hanselman for getting the uh, fish, the fresh fish in, uh, in Hilo. He gets it down at Suisan, you know, the mouth of Suisan. He loves to go fishing, but he don't eat the fish. So when he goes fishing, he brings it to my house, and I use that fish, you know. And, and this is one of the uh, uh, entry that I did in the Taste of Puna. I use fresh uh, papillo, and what I did, I sort of uh, clean it. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to show you that the... Uh, I forgot to show you what the, uh, the chicken, the breast chicken look like. It's, it's pretty thin. Um, I think it, you cut it like tonkatsu or chicken katsu. Yeah. So this is the breast of the chicken, okay? And then that's what I do is I sort of cut it in strips. Okay, and that's the chicken. And the fish, I didn't have to uh, really clean the other fish. All I did is sort of fillet it, the top, and just sort of take the skin out. Can I borrow your cutting board? Oh, sorry. Okay. We're going to go on the fish. This. What do I call this? Papillo. This is the papillo that I fillet, and this is the, the skin. So, what I did, sort of fillet it and take the um, mostly off the bone, you know. And I don't use the skin because um, it's, it's kind of tough. So because we're making that type, what I do is sort of cut it right down here and 
kind of fillet it and take it off the skin. And then you have really nice white meat without the bones. Just slide it right next to the skin. Huh? That's and right. And when you fillet it, and it comes out like this, okay? This, throw it. And then so what I do is just cut it in strips, just down like this. And I mix it with flour. Then I put it on the egg wash. By the way, if you want to know the type of skewer that I use, this is the, uh, the bamboo, bamboo stick. Okay? So what I did was just sort of screw, well, see, you have flour already on it, and then I took my shrimp. Sorry. Oh, here it is. It's already and sort of put it on the skewer like this and just put your shrimp on there and then I call it my fresh papillo with shrimp. Then what I do is, okay, you pow. But Margie, you can also use uh, oh, you, ahi, mahi, definitely, or, yes. or whatever, yes. yeah? Yes, that's right. Because, you know, papillo is kind of hard to get. That's right. <laughs> so you can, you know, use, you have different options to use, you know. Especially, like, papillo is a firm fish. So, you know, you like it white and firm, so that is good. So what I'm doing now, since Vicky is already, how are you doing, Vicky? Okay. Can I just show them the finished product, please? Okay. Now, this is the finished product of your chicken on the stick, okay? This is it. Nice and golden brown. You don't wanna burn it or papa. -a. So this is it. Okay, when, when she's done, then I'll finish the presentation. Okay, Vicky? So what we're gonna do next is do the fish, the fresh papillo. And like uh, Mr. Fuji says, that we can substitute ahi, ono, or mahi-mahi, any firm fish. Okay? So, I'm just going to sort of dip this in the um, egg wash. That's just straight eggs? Yes. Okay. Yes. I, we call it egg wash. And then kind of dip it into the uh, panko and the macadamia nut. So the okay. macadamia nut comes all chopped up real fine? No, uh, it comes whole and I put it in my blender and oh, I, I kind of okay. chopped it up, yeah. Um, I'm trying this out, it's my version of doing that. And, um, and this is the dish that won the award? Yeah. You have everything here except lobster, okay? <laughs> so we have the fish, the papillo, the shrimp. So no lobster, I substitute chicken, okay? That is nice and expensive. So if you want it really fancy, you want to get lobster. Oh, definitely. That's what I want. Okay, but before I got into this, what I did was um, just put garlic salt on the shrimp and the fish, okay? And then what we do is just kind of dip it, you know. Um, we're gonna improvise because actually it's supposed to have flour. <laughs> the flour do, you know, makes it bind. Or you put flour on it first yeah. and then you put it inside into the, the uh, egg wash. Egg wash. I and see. then okay. into the panko. Yeah. So sorry, I bet didn't get my flour going. 
Okay, how's that? It's going good? Okay, so um, we'll have Vicky finish this up. And then you have a, uh, a sauce that goes with this That's fish correct. on a stick, right? Yes, yes. And, and this is a weapon. special sauce. What I did is, um, I made the sauce. <laughs> Look where I put it in here. My secret weapon. But <laughs> um, Lili Koi Guava Hot Sauce. Okay, this is Lili Koi Guava Hot Sauce. And this is delicious when you um, dip it into your, your fish, your shrimp, um, chicken. And that, this is a delicious sauce because um, I also got, they call that, um, the brand name is Maplo, Maplo, Maplo. It's sweet chili sauce. You add that, one bottle, to guava jelly. What I did now, I got some guava jelly or guava jam, and I got half a cup of passion fruit juice, okay? Uh, what you do is, um, the guava jelly it was a little hard, so I microwave it in the oven to get it soft, so it comes into like the sauce, this consistency. So all you do is just mix it up, together and it has a sweet sour hot taste very delicious okay so this is the hot sauce you guys got the you want me to go over it again okay yeah. okay for the sauce i use one cup of guava is that guava jelly, jelly. not jam you jelly. can use jam too but I, I, I like to use jelly because the consistency is soft mm -hmm. and it's, uh, it's gel, like not like uh, guava jam. Okay. Okay. And um, half a cup of that passion fruit juice. <coughs> lili koe, I'm sorry. They call it passion lili koe. And one cup of that sweet garlic sauce. I, I didn't put sweet garlic sauce down there, but it's, it's, it's what it is. That, uh, that, uh, the chili garlic sauce. chili sauce? Yes. Okay. Okay. Then you just mix it up all together. It's, it's called <coughs> sweet garlic chili sauce? Chili sauce, correct. Okay. And the uh, brand name is uh, my, my, Michael. How do you pronounce it? Michael. Okay. M-A-E-P-L-O-Y -E yeah. brand. Not that we're endorsing it, but it <laughs> tastes good, yeah? yeah it's okay. good. You know, the, the Thai people use a lot of that, you know, chili sauce, and it's really delicious. And how long can you keep this sauce, Margie? Uh, well, I had this in the, uh, well, I just made it fresh today, but uh, it can stay over at least a month. In the refrigerator? In the refrigerator, yeah. yeah okay. it, it, it stays pretty good. It preserves pretty good. It's, so it's a good, all-purpose kind of mm -hmm. sweet, sour sauce That's like correct, that. correct, right, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm not going to tell you what else got inside. It's my secret. <laughs> my secret sauce. So, but you should try it. It's delicious. Okay, so we got here the sauce. I'll just put it right here in, in my bowl. And then I'm going to do the presentation on that. And then Mino can come okay. up and do his thing. Okay, so uh, since okay. this is Mary Monarch getting close by, right? We use a, I'm using Kobo. Okay. And for those of you who just joined us, you're watching Agriculture 194E, Focus on Agriculture. And this evening we have Margie and friends from Hilo. And uh, so far Margie has uh, prepared for us a fish shrimp on a stick with lily koi guava hot sauce and chicken on a stick. And so now Margie's uh, doing the uh, presentation with the uh, chicken on a stick. 
So what do you poke? Oh, you got pineapple? Yeah, I got there? pineapple in here. I see, and then you just poke them in just there. Just poke it in there. This will make it look pretty, you know. Yeah. Pineapple is good. It's really sweet, too, so it complements the, um, the sauce. And you did this uh, at the Taste of Puna. Taste of Puna. And you came in... First place. First place. This is a first place dish, folks, and you're watching it here on Focus Without on Without the lobster. <laughs> you got everything except the lobster. Okay. Then when Vicky get done doing the, the shrimp, and then I'll finish it up, okay? Oh, so you put both, yeah, both the shrimp I'm gonna put and the, shrimp, the yeah. fish and shrimp yeah. The shrimp on yeah. one of the pineapple. I mean, excuse me, the chicken on one of the pineapple and the, uh, the fish, fish and, and shrimp the on shrimp the on the other. I see, right. okay. And then we're gonna have um, uh, Minoru come over here and uh, he's going to do a triple threat chili. <laughs> <laughs> triple threat. Triple, tr uh, threat. triple threat. Triple threat. So this is going to be a uh, real uh, Can you help me winner it up, please? chili. Right so yeah. uh, put on the Take fire good notes, there. folks. <clears throat> Hi out there in TV land. Well, the mad pupuli cook is back again. And hopefully I'll try and put together something that's edible. <laughs> no, only kidding. I uh, practice a lot and my wife is still here. so. It's okay what we're going to have tonight. <laughs> By the way, this is my wife, Edna. Hi. Uh, we've been married for 45 years this year. And we survived this long because we're opposites, yin and yang. <laughs> Everything what she says, I say no, and she say yeah, so opposite. But uh, she's a good lady. She's going to be my assistant tonight. Uh, I'm going to put together a dish called triple threat chili. And Dr. Fuji was supposed to come on you and say, what does that mean? What does that mean, Minoru? Well, I'm going to put three types of beans in this chili. And you know what the results are? Uh, you're going to contribute a lot to the depletion of the ozone layer. Okay? So, I might have you sign a waiver before eating this dish. Uh, Vicky, is it on? Okay. Oh, before I begin, I want to say hi to my grandson, Sean Hironaga. My brother Tom in Honolulu, he's watching specially. And Dr. Jack Fuji's most faithful viewer of a long, long time from Honolulu, Pat and her mother, Mrs. Aquino. Yeah. You see, I grew up in Honolulu, so I know her a long time too. Okay, is it hot? Okay. First of all, we'll uh, just put a little oil in here in the pot. And uh, I She's got a hard job here, opening the cans, you know. Takes a lot of uh, know-how. What we have, may I have this cutting cut one? Cut okay. Oh, by the way, uh, do you folks see all these medals that they won? About two weeks ago in Kona, they had that Iron Chef cook-off, and they won third place. It's not for good conduct, you know, this medal. Actually, third place. So they can be proud of it, Margie and her gang. Here we have uh, two pots of onions. Uh, we're gonna just slice it up real quick. Remember before I told you, tuck your fingers in because you know what can happen. Okay. I can't chop it as fast as the pros do, but uh, no finger was in there, so it's okay. <laughs> I'll just put onion in there and uh, got a couple of pieces of garlic and they're the best uh, thing to put in because they really give a flavor to any kind of dish. You just chop it real, mince it uh, uh, fine, pretty much fine. Also, you throw it into the pot. And one thing with garlic, you have to be very careful because uh, if you burn it, it's going to permit the whole dish and it's going to taste yucky. So be real careful in cooking garlic over, over our heat here. So you just stir fry it a bit. Just till the onions become a little translucent. 
Oh, I can smell the garlic are really good. Yeah. So, Minoro, yes. uh, how did you come up with this uh, triple threat chili? Okay, there's a story behind this. It's actually it's my wife's secret recipe. I had the hardest time getting it from her to put it on the air because we have four boys, which we you know we were raised from uh, uh, infants, and uh, they became all men now. But during those days, they were always hungry, hungry, and we had to come up with a dish. She had to come up with a dish that would be filling for them, fast, and you know enjoyable. So she gave me the recipe. And I gave the name Triple Threat because uh, I use three types of beans in here. And uh, as I said, it can be very potent. Okay, uh, may I have the meat, please? Uh, the hamburger here, I sort of pre-cooked it because it takes a little while. And I drained the oil from this for little health reasons too. Yeah, I'll just put it in here. About a pound and a half of hamburger. Yeah, about a pound and a half, Dr. Fuji. Okay. And <clears throat> just uh, blend it together. Oh, Dr. Fuji, yes. I've got a little trivia for you. Okay. Since you're in agriculture, yeah. you know, we're talking about the ozone layer, uh -huh. the depletion. Did you know that the scientists had found that man and uh, machines aren't the culprit? The cattle, cattle. cows and cattle, there thousands of them out there doing the thing, you know. And, and, the, and the, <laughs> actually, it's a shoe fact. If you look it up on the web or whatever, they're the worst culprits that depletes the ozone. So I don't know what we can do with the, the solution for that, but <laughs> maybe we, we it's can. Not, it's not the Freon then. Not the Freon. That's something that comes out from the other side of the cow. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, well, you learn something yeah, every yeah, day. It, it's not a, a policy, it's a, it's a true fact, you know. Oh, my wife had. Uh, open the uh, cans here. Thank you, Edna. Very, very hard to, I'm, I'm sorry, easy <laughs> to open the cans. So what's the first kind of beans? Okay, we, we put the bush baked beans in here. Bush baked beans. Okay. The whole can, the big can we use here. Because, uh, that's a 28 ounce can of uh, baked beans. Yes. And that's a bush baked beans. Yes. And a big can, 28 ounce of uh, pork and beans. Mm. And finally, uh, two, two cans of uh, kidney beans, liquid and all. Baked beans, pork and beans, and kidney beans. Yes. And a final can of the kidney beans. Three types of beans here. Okay. And uh, just mix it up all together. And oh boy. Starting to bubble like a witch's cauldron already, so you guys got to be careful in eating this thing tonight. I hope you folks, maybe the students in here don't have roommates. They all staying by themselves. Actually, when uh, we had this dish when we were younger and feeding our children, everybody watches TV after having the dinner and then, boy, then the musical chairs start. <laughs> From bass on up to soprano. <laughs> well, but beans are good for you. A lot yes. of protein, a lot of you fiber. A lot of proteins and a lot of fiber. Okay, yeah, here we have uh, chili powder. Okay, that's give the uh, flavor to it. Two packages of chili powder. Is there any particular type that you like to use, or any kind will do? Whatever's on cheap sale. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, two is just about right, Edna. Okay. We'll just mix this up. Uh oh. Uh, wow, that looks good. Yeah. Oh I my think I'm going to have to try this one out, uh, Minoru. Pardon me, Dr. Fuji? I think I'm going to have to try and make this uh, triple threat chili. Okay. Only thing is, uh, it's only me and my wife, so <laughs> I'll be eating chili the whole week. I, I know from uh, some, some little birdie unless that... I, uh, unless I put it in Ziploc bag yeah. and freeze it, yeah. <laughs> and the whole secret to it is uh, putting some ketchup in there. That's okay. what she said, so I, uh, I'll put some ketchup in there. Maybe about half a cup or a quarter cup here. 
it gives a little zing to it. Some, uh, about a half a cup of uh, ketchup, uh, huh? Yeah, any type of uh, peanut brand ketchup. Jeez, did you have that inside and your uh, recipe here, Minoru? Uh, excuse me, Dr. Fuji. Uh, I, I don't see the, um, the ketchup. ketchup in here. Yeah. That must be the secret weapon. I, 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 I think I missed that. <laughs> so please excuse me. Uh, okay. It's part half, of the recipe. Half a cup of ketchup. Yeah. And uh, we're done. So, wow, that is fast. Yeah. It's a, it's a good dinner that can be put together. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. The best part, boiled hot dogs cut into rounds, about four of them. Oh, how easy. Mix them all up in there, and you're going to have a happy bunch that's going to be eating this because it gives a different flavor. You can use either Portuguese sausage or uh, this uh, hot dog or Vienna sausage, any kind of sausage, whatever you want. So, there we are. Vicky, can you shut it up here, please? Okay. And just kind of let that simmer, huh? Yeah, uh, as long as uh, it hits, hits thoroughly right through, and it, it is already. So you pre-boil the, the hot dogs, mm -hmm. and then if you're using Portuguese sausage, you kind of pre-fry uh, that. Or you heat could it do up that, but then... uh, did you know that the Portuguese sausage that are in the market now, if you read carefully, it says pre-cooked. So, you know, you can just eat it like that if you want. But we can usually fry it off and uh, get rid of the oil a bit too, so. Okay, we're all done. Wow. Here we are. You know, uh, Margie and friends here are going to make nine dishes tonight, so if, they, yeah. if, if they're like the ones the, uh, Minoru the, made here, the, the, yeah, oh. we'll get our nine done. We'll get them. <laughs> Triple threat chili, folks. Triple threat. <laughs> what's Triple the, what's threat. the next threat there, Minoru? Uh, okay, I'm... I'm uh, Thank you. Can I put it over here? Is it okay if I put this here, Dr. Fuji? Uh, yeah, the thing. hot, I think uh, maybe we ought to put some uh, paper. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Here, here, put, put I have a foil, that. I have put a foil. That. Oh, okay. You want a foil? Oh boy, look. Or yeah. shall I, uh, that all done, ready to serve. Maybe what I'll do is maybe we can put it on the uh, table. Okay. 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 You know, here, oh, let I me put different. the foil under there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, okay. I got it. Yeah. Can yeah. I have the wash? Oh, oh, that looks good. good. It smells good. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna. I'm going to make another another dish here. Can I have the fire, please? Okay. Okay. And uh, this particular dish is uh, what is it, Nino? Uh, let's see. It's called Chinese beef tomato. It's a little opposite. We usually call it uh, tomato beef, but it's Chinese beef tomato, and it has an, a little exotic taste to it, so hopefully you folks enjoy it too. And uh, <clears throat> I have a good friend called, uh, his name is Robin Kao. He says, Mino, you love to cook Chinese dish so much, I'm going to make you an honor Chinese with the name of Man Who Cook. Man Who Cook. Man who cook. Say it softly. Man who cook. Man. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna call me up tomorrow, Robin. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I gotta get my thoughts together how I'm gonna put this dish together. <laughs> okay, again, a little oil. Okay. And here we have um, about a pound and a half of sirloin stick in strips in a marinade uh, for 10 minutes. And what does the marinade consist of? Okay, I, oh my goodness. Here you go. Oh, Here. Thank you, Dr. Fuji. Uh, the marinade is two tablespoons of shoyu, two tablespoons oyster sauce, one teaspoon chili, uh, chili sauce, two slices of ginger minced, one teaspoon garlic minced, and one teaspoon of salt. And you put it in the bowl and mix it up and marinate your beef just for 10 minutes. That's all you need. And uh, <clears throat> the good thing about this Chinese dish type uh, cooking is it's pretty healthy. Uh, for one thing, uh, a lot of vegetables and you don't overcook the vegetables in Chinese cooking, fast cooking. 
So this has been marinated for a while. So we're going to put it into that wok here. Did all of you get the, uh, okay, here we go one more time. Two tablespoons of chili, uh -huh. two tablespoons oyster sauce, one teaspoon chili sauce, two slices ginger minced, one teaspoon of garlic minced, and one teaspoon of Hawaiian salt. Yes. Got it? Yes. Sorry. Okay. And you marinate that just for about 10 minutes? Uh, just about 10 minutes. That's all, that's all you need. Okay. Okay. And again, in Chinese style cooking, you don't overcook anything. Uh, you prefer the original cooking of the meat to be a bit uh, rare. So you can finish off cooking at the end with the whole thing there and uh, it becomes uh, pretty much cooked. So you call this uh, Chinese beef tomato. Yes. Now, if you don't like that, you can call it Chinese tomato beef, but <laughs> or tonight we're going to call it Chinese beef tomato. Okay. <laughs> Whatever sounds good to you, you know. And uh, so how did you come, uh, come around to make this dish, uh, Minoru? Well, I, uh, as, I, as I called myself earlier, the pupuli chef, <laughs> okay. I, I like to experiment. And most of the time it doesn't come out good, but sometimes it comes out. And this time it came out good on this Chinese beef tomato. So I, uh, it's one of uh, my standards for making it at home now. Okay, and as I said, you don't want them overcooked, so I'm gonna a little hot. Yeah. Uh, maybe that. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, thank you, man. Okay, Edna, I'm going to Edna. Edna, can you put it in there, please? Go in there. Okay, okay so uh, you, after What's you uh, kind of get the beef. Uh, cook then you kind of set it aside yes just set it aside for a while okay and I, and and as i said uh a little on the rare side okay then you put again a little more oil here in here in the wok okay and uh, then comes the uh, good part the uh the various vegetables that go in here we have sliced onion okay sliced bell pepper all right and some uh, sliced celery. Okay. That's all you need. And we'll just put it into the wok here. Sliced onions, sliced celery, uh -huh. and uh, bell peppers cut into yes. wedges. Yes, exactly. One onion, medium to large, one whole bell pepper wedged, and uh, one cup of sliced celery here. And uh, we'll just We'll just stir fry these again. Yeah. Yeah. This 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 dish uh, is is an excellent dish. Just you just need rice and uh, you home free. You just got a whole dinner there. Yeah. Now we got a lot of your. Uh, Request for your no can stop uh, shrimp. I think it was uh, oh, was it no can stop black bean shrimp. Yeah? That's that's correct. And I uh, the, the stew was uh, well, was that one the, the no can stop? No, that was much happiness. Uh, much happiness <laughs> stew. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and then boy, I tell you, I think this triple triple threat chili, uh, I bet we're going to get a lot of requests for that one. Oh yeah, because that it's so uh, easy to make. And it, it, and that's uh, correct. It's an easy dish to make for the harried mother who comes home from work or, you know, who has to put a dish together real quick. Quick, uh, that's, an, that's a real good, easy dish to do. Yeah, and, and uh -huh. it sure smells good. I, I can't uh -huh. wait to uh, try it out tonight. Yeah. We're going to sort of have cooked these vegetables because um, Chinese don't like to overcook the vegetables, and which I think everybody should follow. The nutrients are still in here, not cooked away. So, and now, here's the uh, whole key to uh, the taste. It's the sauce here. 
one can of tomato sauce, half a cup of water, one beef bouillon melted in here, okay. and a little, maybe about a teaspoon of Hawaiian salt, and you just put it in here into a little bit of cornstarch, yeah? Yeah. About three tablespoons of cornstarch. Exactly, I'm sorry, I forgot that. Thanks for reminding me. Very important because that, that becomes a thickener in the dish. So that the gravy mixture is one can of tomato sauce, uh -huh. one cube of beef bouillon, three tablespoons of cornstarch, a half a cup of water, and Hawaiian salt to taste. Exactly. That's all you need here. Yeah. Boy, this is another really uh, fast dish. Yeah, it is. Know. Yeah, it's almost done already because, uh, as I said, the vegetables don't have to be overcooked, you know, and, you know, you, vegetables you can eat raw, so no problem here. You see, as long as the uh, gravy starts to thicken, it's almost done already. And, uh, and here we put some uh, button mushrooms, canned mushrooms. Okay. Sliced in half, so they become a half like that, and just put it into here. Is that is that the uh, canned mushrooms? Canned mushrooms, button mushrooms, and uh, it becomes part of the dish and it tastes wonderful. Just mix it together. When you uh, eat this dish, you want to get the crunch of the uh, vegetables. And you put in your tomatoes. And then the tomatoes go in last. Huh? Yes. And then cover it, sort of cover it with the uh, vegetable mixture and the uh, sauce. Mm. That looks good. Uh -huh. And I, I think it's going to taste good too, Dr. Fuji. No can stop Chinese beef tomato, yeah? <laughs> Hopefully so. <laughs> and the grand finale. The, uh, the uh, beef that we cooked earlier goes back into the dish. And you blend it all together to uh, absorb all the other flavors. into. But the flavor in this marinade becomes part of the gravy. And uh, boy, as uh, I might have to name this dish, no can stop. Beef stew, uh, beef tomato beef. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. now that that really looks yeah. tasty. And uh, I think just about done. So I cooked a pot of rice tonight, folks. <laughs> We're gonna have rice with all Can of I this. Can I have so. a hold right again, please? This said is hot, sir. And I even dump it in today, okay? Okay, we're gonna just put it to the pot. I don't think it's gonna fit in there, but that's okay. We got a big gang here tonight. Ooh, and it's hot. Ooh. 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 Whoa! 911 almost here. Ooh. Oh, you can the the smoke up. Thank you. Okay, here we go again. We'll just put it into the Pyrex dish here. Oh boy. That doesn't have to all go in. Looks like we're going to have okay. a feast here tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that is uh, Mino's uh, Chinese beef tomato. Yep. Well done. So, Margie is going to use this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Too. I need Get to. Get a hot so Where shall I put it? Uh, you want to clean it up a bit, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just put it okay. right there. Put it on top of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and then uh, Burn out. Oh. Edna, maybe we okay. can put that right on yeah. the uh, yeah. table in Take the front. The okay. Chinese beef tomato yeah. and uh, Margie, you're going to show off your uh, yeah. your first dish, mm -hmm. the um, fish shrimp on a stick with lily koi, uh, guava hot mm -hmm. sauce, and chicken on a stick. Okay, we got what. We got the shrimp here. Oh, you just kind of drizzle the sauce uh -huh. right over the sticks. So. Right. We got more. <laughs> Don't fall on me. 
This is the winner. And then you can also have the sauce on the side if That's you want more correct. sauce for this particular dish. Right. Some don't like the um, spicy, but so I won't do too much of that. Put some it's okay. On the side. Yeah. Got it now. That's okay. it. Okay. And that is the fish shrimp on a stick with lily koi guava hot sauce and chicken on a stick. Okay, what's next? Uh, fish. We're gonna make a pap papio opihi or yeah opihi fish. Fish soup. Fish soup. Okay. So okay, we're I guess do, if you put the banana uh, right Marge there. Marge is going to prepare her papio opihi fish soup. Good, the water is boiling, so what I'm going to do is get about two cloves of garlic. Okay, two cloves of garlic. Just kind of mash it. Okay. We'll throw it in the boiling water here. I use about a quart. About a quart of, of boiling, boiling water. water. Okay. Okay. And about a tum now. Tum. Tum. <laughs> ginger, fresh ginger. Just smash them. Yep. I like that knife of yours. It's pretty neat, yeah. Then we got some tomato here. Okay, a medium ripe tomato. Uh huh. My dad, my dad usually use really ripe tomato and he kind of squish it all up in his hand and just throw it in the pot and let it boil. But got the ripe. So, so what I'm going to do, it don't take long. Since the water is boiling, I'm going to let it come to a nice boil. Okay. And Junior, this is for you. I know you love fish and opihi. You missed the opihi. I'm doing it for you. He's from Alabama. Okay. Margie's going to get a tape of the program tonight and send it to Alabama. Okay. Now, where's the cover? We put the cover on, let it boil. Okay. We don't really need too much salt in it because what I'm going to do is use miso. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Miso in that. And what I'm going to, what we're going to do, we're going to let it come to a boil again. It don't take long. Then I'll just <laughs> cut it. <laughs> the papillo. The papillo. Can you use other kinds of fish? You sure can. Whatever you have. What else kind of fish do you use? Manpachi. Ooh, that's good. That would be good, yeah. Manpachi, yes. And, and aveo veo. Aholi holi. That is another good fish, too. Okay. Aveo veo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hello. Hey, there we go. I got a pretty. Sorry. Okay, we're in half. All right. Okay, we're going to put the whole thing in there. We won't put the tail, we'll take the tail out, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just put the whole papillo inside. Yep. Well, I think I bought a little bit of salt, but I don't know. Where I put it. And this is a papio opihi fish soup, which Margie is putting together. <clears throat> and the opihi sometimes is kind of hard to get, so. Opihi is very hard to get. Um, you know, what kind is it? I, I never think. The big shell? Opihi? No, but. Uh, if Dr. You Fuji, you wanted to opihi, substitute. What, what can, can you, I guess we cannot make this dish unless you have opihi. Yes, right. Okay. 
Because opihi is really hard to get. Opihi is uh, uh -huh. limpid. That's right. This is really nice opihi. The legal size now. Poo poo. And I made sure I washed it, you know, washed it clean because the shell and everything will be going into the pot. Okay? And is it better to have the uh, opihi with the limu on it for more taste? Oh, when you're doing, yes, when you're doing uh, a soup like this. See, my dad, when we were kids, we go camping and, and we used to go down to um, Ka'u. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm or South Point, yeah. and we used to pick up, you know, go fishing, and there's some opihi down there, and we used to pick up. And then, so we used to have it out in the open fire, and my dad just loved to make this here fish soup. He used to take any kind of fish that we have, and we used to uh, charcoal it, or puleho, over the fire. Mm -hmm. And we used to break it up, and then he used to put chili pepper and all that in there and it's real oh no okay how's that okay good so we'll just throw it i just added shrimp to make it look nice okay so we put the whole thing in there and it don't take long we don't want to um we don't want it to overcook because then we can turn off the fire and just let it simmer in its dish. About a big uh, tablespoon of white miso. Right. Okay. And that's it. And the fish soup is all done. That you get some. like a good soup to have on a cold oh, day like yes. today. Yes. Rainy day. Yeah, I thought I had salt, but we just go. Little squishy, squishy, little bit with so the. So Margie, this this doop. is an old family it's recipe, a, yeah. And you added a little bit of soy sauce. Yeah. Just to yeah. give it flavor. And that's it. What's up? What's next? And you just let that boil. Mm -hmm. And uh, how how do you know when it's done? When the fish turns white. Okay. And the shrimp is this nice color then you and know. the opihi falls off its shell i see and the poo poo poo, -poo comes out too yep okay. and that's it and then you're 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 also gonna do a kimpira kimpira dish vegetable dish yep okay so i'll just grab my hand here and for those of you who just joined us, you're watching Agriculture 194E, Focus on Agriculture. And this evening, How my guests are Margie and friends. Uh, Margie Hanselman, Inoro Hironaga, Edna Hironaga, Vicky Kalika, uh, Millie Canal, and Charlotte Fujioka. And they're proud uh, winners of uh, the uh, big cook-off in uh, Puna and also the Iron Chef cook-off at the Keoho Beach Hotel, right? Okay, so we're going to do a kimpira vegetable dish and we're also going to do a Hawaiian tropical salad. We're going to also do a sweet potato leaf salad and a scrumptious tropical fruit salad. Okay, Millie, you want to just... So uh, the next dish, uh, I think, is okay. the Hawaiian tropical you know, salad. It's ready. Followed by a sweet potato leaves salad. This uh, looks like real healthy food here uh, coming up. Okay. While I'm waiting for that, I'll just prepare the, the salad. What I have in here is I have three different things. I have, or is it four? I have ulu, okay. sweet potato, two different types, the yellow and the white. Okay. And I also have ta uh, taro. Okay. Okay. And so what we'll about just avocado. Avocado is coming up after. Okay. What I did is I um, did the lime and and kind of juice it over the avocado because you know the avocado turns right brown. Right. So we just 
want to do it less. So what you do is you steam your ulu. Everything is steam or boil. And the same with the, the yellow sweet potato and the exactly. white sweet potato and the taro. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of cube it up. Cube it. Cube it. Cubes and then. And then you put a little. Oh, your little sauce on top of that dressing. Yep. Okay. So we're also going to need uh, one ripe avocado, uh, one medium ripe diced tomatoes, Tomato, and uh, over there. one you small sweet off. Maui onion, and shredded bak bakala. Bakala. That, uh, pro uh, the dried, It's a real uh, Hawaiian salad. <laughs> cod. Codfish, cod yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dried salted codfish, and then now yep. you're putting the av fresh the avocado, fresh avocado right avocado on top. Over it. Yep. Kind of cubed also. Mm -hmm. We put it on last because um, put lime juice. That's to prevent it from turning brown, yeah. turning brown, you know. Okay. Mm, that's a real healthy dish right there. <clears throat> yeah, I need oil, peanut oil. So you got a lot of cherry tomatoes? Cherry tomato. Okay. And this done. Gotta get my buckle out. What I did is um, I got a small piece of buckle out and I boiled it so it, it, it comes kind of soft, you know. Did and you kind of uh, soak it, it so it's not salty? No, I, I didn't have to soak it. I boil it twice. Oh, I see. And, and then takes all the salt out of the Correct, yeah. Fish. That's true. And then I shred it. Okay, that's done. And that's a Hawaiian, a Hawaiian tropical salad. That's my Hawaiian tropical salad. And, and that's it. Maui onions. Correct. Oh, yes. Don't they look good? For those vegetarians out there. Vegetarian, the all the way. Dish. Then the special sauce. What is that? I have balsamic extra virgin. Um, olive, olive oil. oil and I grate a little garlic in salt and pepper just to taste and what I do a little salt and pepper to taste yeah <gasps> oh sorry <laughs> balsamic, balsamic vinegar balsamic. extra virgin olive oil one clove of grated garlic and salt and pepper to taste and you've got the uh, and I got dressing it. for our Hawaiian tropical salad. Salad, correct. And That's now, it. Uh, Margie's going to put together uh, a cooking? sweet potato leaf salad. Oh. Um, I'll do the kimpira. Okay, vegetable kimpira. Everybody know what a vegetable kimpira is? I mean, gobo. You don't know what nope. a gobo is. Oh. Well, I had a gobo. Gobo is uh, burdock. This is burdock. This is gobo. And what I do is um, cut it. Let me, where's my, eep, drain them. I thought I had my colander here. <laughs> oh, under here. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. This is a real easy dish. It's ready to go. What is After, that? that's the burdock. Oh, okay. What I do is, I think you got the recipe on there. Mm -hmm. When you cut it, you know, you, you, you put it in water and vinegar. Okay? And so that way it won't, um, it won't turn brown. You'll still stay nice and white. And then the carrots, don't have to worry about putting it in there. So you got okay. about four large gobo or burdock uh, root peels cut in two and a half uh, inch uh, matchstick length. Yeah. And then you're going to fry that in a little bit of vegetable oil. To and fry it for a little while. You also have your carrots that are kind of chopped the same the way. Same way, matchstick. Okay. It's real good. It's like a side dish. I got to show you 
Okay, show you. Got sugar. Sugar. And I got some hot cayenne pepper. Okay. Okay, we're gonna fry that it. first. It's gonna not too much kick. It depends how hot you want it. Okay. Okay. There we go. And kind of just kind of fry it uh, in the oil. Yep. Uh, I, I I use peanut oil. Peanut oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. I use in peanut oil. Okay, make sure you use peanut oil. Peanut oil. It has a flavor. And then you you, you soak the gobo in uh, vinegar. In vinegar and water. Vinegar water. About yeah. one tablespoon of vinegar one. to about how much water? I, I say maybe a, about a quart or or two cups. Okay, two cups of water. And let Just it sit. How long do you soak the gobo? You soak it for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And then you don't cook that long there, and then we can throw the carrots in. Sorry. We can really. Okay. And then we'll let it cook just for a little while, and then we'll add the sugar and the shoyu less, and then it'll give it a glaze. It'll give it a really nice glaze. Okay. Because it has that sweet shoyu. Yeah, that. Uh Kimpira is one of my favorite. You like that? That's real good. Okay. <laughs> you can show watercress in there too if oh, you want to. Oh, a little to. bit of watercress. Okay. <laughs> and I got cayenne pepper too. You know, some people like it hot, some people like it mild. So it depends how you want to do that. So did you kind of, is Just that fresh watercress or is that parboiled or something? It's fresh. Or? Just regular mm -hmm. watercress. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just gonna let that, your soup is really going good. Okay. Dr. Fuji. <laughs> your power is going good, okay. Hello? You know what? You need the walk? <laughs> uh, you know where the sink is? Right around the... I just need the walk to, to, to warm up the... Um, Wash it or, out. or maybe you can just yeah. kind of. You want to wipe it with this? Yeah, I think so. Because I just need hot water. Okay. That's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it high? And we're gonna do two Push more dishes after this, right? The mm -hmm. sweet potato leaf salad and uh, scrumptious, scrumptious tropical, fruit, tropical salad. fruit salad. salad. It's already done. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's already done. Millie, it's just, Millie, you have your. You want to bring up uh, <coughs> your thing here? Millie won on that too, uh, the scrumptious fruit salad. You got to tell us how to put it together now. Yeah, look how pretty it is. Okay, can I have the, uh, your recipe? Mm -hmm. This is delicious. She won at the um, Puna, Taste of Puna. And they took 10, thank you. And they took 10 top winners. And Millie came in one of the ten top. So I told her, put it on, put it on. It's really, so, really delicious. So you're gonna, she you doesn't have a mic, so you're gonna have to read off what's in the recipe. Okay. There. Can I have water, please? Maggie. Uh, okay. Can you put the Margie? <coughs> put it on. Yeah, I just want to boil the water. Okay, I'll read it for you. And uh, what are you and preparing? I, oh, I'm making for the sweet potato. I got to, okay. How's that? Is it set? set? Okay. Okay, you ready? You ready for this? Okay. okay. We'll just pour the show you here and the sugar and a smidge of cayenne. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper. Okay. If need some more, can put. Okay, you can keep on doing it till it's crisp. Um, you could caramel. also use Hawaiian chili pepper if you want it. Also, yeah. I got Hawaiian chili pepper. The <laughs> way I put it. Okay. As soon as that's boiling, that I think we finish. Good. You can. Okay, Millie's salad. It has uh, one box of pistachio pudding mix. One four ounce package cream cheese, one 
cup sour cream, one eight ounce creamy cool whipped topping, one and a half cup crushed pineapple, four cups sliced banana, four cups strawberry papaya, you peel and cube it, two cups coconut gel. Uh, anybody know what coconut gel is? No. Well, you get it in the supermarket and it looks like it's in the oriental section and it's, it, it's next to, they call it halo halo. You guys ever ate halo halo? Mm -hmm. Filipino halo halo? Okay, it's similar to that. It's, it's white cube and it's delicious. Um, two cups mandarin orange slice and one cup macadamia nuts chopped and one cup walnut chopped. And then you put everything together, mix it all up, and this is what you come up with. That is the that scrumptious is the scrumptious fruit salad. Billy, okay. really, you want to put it in the bowl? And then... You want to put uh, yours in the bowl? Are you going to have time to do the sweet potato leaf salad? If you, if you want to take some calls or... Uh, I'm done. Oh, uh, up to you what you want to do, Marjorie. How long will it take you to make the sweet potato leaf salad? I just got to get the water boiling and put the potato leaves in there and just strain it, and that's it. And then my tomato and onion, that's all. Okay, the and sweet the potato sauce. leaf salad just consists of uh, one bunch of uh, sweet potato leaves, and then you uh, blanch the uh, leaves in uh, boiling salt water uh -huh. and rinse uh, in, in cold, cold water. That's and then correct. you just add one large tomato that's been what, chopped up and then uh, one small onion sliced, uh, two tablespoons of patis or fish sauce and two tablespoons of shoyu soy sauce and one tablespoon of vinegar. Okay, one bunch of potato leaves the blanched in boiling salt water then rinse in cold water, one ripe tomato diced, mm -hmm. one small onion diced, two tablespoons of patis, and two tablespoons of shoyu, and one tablespoon of vinegar, right? Mm -hmm. And now you're putting the uh, soup, the soup uh, together. Soup together, and then I guess we'll go to question and answers. And uh, Okay. And for those of you who just joined us, you're watching Agriculture 194E, Focus on Agriculture. And uh, this evening we're featuring Margie and Friends from Hilo. That's Margie Hanselman, Minoru Hironaga, Edna Hironaga, Vicky Kalika, oh, Millie Canal, and Charlotte Fujioka. Again, all winners of uh, the uh, Taste of Puna cook-off and also the Iron Chef uh, uh, contest over there at the Kiraho <coughs> Hotel. So if you have any questions for our guests this evening, please give us a call. The numbers will be on the screen. The numbers are 961-9046 and 974-7726. So if you have any questions, please give us a call. Otherwise, we'll go back to Margie so she can finish off her uh, sweet potato leaf uh, salad. So maybe we can get the camera back on Margie and uh, uh, you can explain what you're going to be doing there with the uh, sweet potato leaf salad, uh, Margie. Okay. That's the fish soup. And again, for those of you who just joined us, you're watching Agriculture. We have our first caller, Margie, so uh, we'll take the first caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please. Uh, coming from Hilo. Okay. Yeah. And your okay, question? Okay, I wanted to find out, um, was that gobo with uh, the carrots, the shredded carrots? Yes. Okay, and instead of putting, um, uh, what is that powder thing she put it in? Uh, let's see. Let me see if I got the recipe here. Ooh. 
Oh, you mean the uh, cayenne pepper? Okay, we could substitute that with uh, Hawaiian chili pepper. Right. Oh, that looks good. Everything looks good tonight. Well, thank I wish you. I was there. Come join us. Oh, but I if it wasn't raining, I would. The food, uh, the food will probably be gone. The, the class looks very hungry tonight, so they're going to really uh, eat up tonight. Oh, too bad we don't more smell of vision. Smells good too. Thank you. Thank you for calling from Hilo. And we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please? Kauai. Okay, we got a caller from Kauai and your question. No, Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii, okay. Yeah, um, Eddie would go. In fact, Okay, uh, one of those callers again. Uh, I, do we have another caller? If not, we can go back to Margie and uh, Margie can explain uh, what she's uh, doing over there with the sweet potato. Okay. Oh, just a sec, Marge, we got another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hello, you're on the air. Hello? Hi, where are you calling from? Hi, I'm, I'm calling from downtown Hilo. Okay, and your question? And I'd like to say, all your dishes are so good. Broke the mouth. <laughs> okay, well, uh, you we're, guys have we're going to have it for all of our students tonight. Uh, the, sorry you can't join us. We have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hi, Dr. Fuji. Hi, Pat. How are you doing? <laughs> Tell me, Nora, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, you know, there's your but I need a rest from Honolulu. Yeah, hi, Pat. Yes. The scrumptious fruit salad? Yes. Could you give the ingredients again, please? Uh, let's see. Uh, I gave you the recipe, Margie. Uh, maybe uh, if you can give me the recipe back here, uh, I can put it on the Elmo for uh, Pat over there in Honamu here on the Big Island. And uh, I'll put it on the Elmo here. And let's see. Uh, is that too small for you? Can I have the Elmo? Is that too small? Let me uh, zoom oh, no, in. I can see it. I... Let me zoom in a little bit more. Oh, that's too much. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'll leave that there for a while so uh, Pat can read that. Do we have any other, uh, do you have another question, Pat? No, just tell Minoru, thank you. Okay, Minoru, uh, Pat says thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Pat. <laughs> and uh, do we have another caller? Everything looks real good. Oh, yeah, it does smell good. We can't wait, Pat. Uh-huh. And we have another caller. Oh, so, Dr. Oh, Fuji. Yes, yes. Um, she made a fish soup. My my father used to put uh, lemongrass in his soup. Oh, mm -hmm. for that puppy o pee fish soup? Yeah. I'm sure you can put lemongrass yes. in there if you yeah, Margie says yes, you can put lemongrass in there if you want. Yeah, that's my father used to mm -hmm. do that. Okay, I'm gonna put down on the recipe uh, optional lemongrass. Lemon okay. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Booty. Okay, thanks for calling, Pat. Bye-bye. Good night. Uh, we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. I'm calling from Gila. Okay, and your question? I just wanted to say you guys all look very sexy, especially Mr. Fuji. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for calling. Uh, geez, I wish... Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we thank you for your call anyway. I, I hope you're getting good enjoyment out of that. Uh, I think we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. I'm calling from Honolulu. Okay, and your question? Can I get that Chinese beef tomatoes uh, recipe again? Uh, okay, the beef tomato recipe. Uh, are, are you on, do you have access to email? Yes. Uh, can you email me? And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this all on my computer 
And then I can email you the recipe. How's that? But, oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, I will, uh, let's see, there, there's, a, there's a lot to this recipe here, but it's uh, really easy to put together, and I don't know if you can uh, read this. I'm going to put this on the screen here, and if you can read that, uh, can, you, can you see that? But anyway, I'll leave that there yeah. for you. And uh, if anybody wants the, the recipes uh, of Margie and gang here from Hilo, uh, you can email me and I'm going to oh. type these things all out and uh, uh, I'll send them out to you. Now, do, we, do you have another question for our folks here? Oh, that's it. Okay, thank you for calling. Turn and on. do we have another caller? I, we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please. Hi, I'm calling from Honolulu. Okay, and your question? And I'd like to know how much of the shoyu, sugar, and cayenne pepper went into the gobo? Okay, uh, Margie, uh, how much uh, shoyu uh, and uh, the cayenne pepper? The shoyu was pepper? about a tablespoon. About a tablespoon of each? Yes. Okay, Show about a sugar. tablespoon of each. One part to one part. One part to one part. Thank you very much. Okay, that's one part, one part, one part. And uh, I guess it's all up to your taste. And do we have another caller? We have another caller. Could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hello? Yes, where are you calling from? Uh, Mirola fish soup. Yes. You gotta use papio. No, you no. can you can use uh, other Anything. fish, right, uh, Margie? Anything that's firm, mahi ono, and oh. and ahi, firm fish. Does that answer your question from Hilo? Ah, uh, yeah, but ah. Uh, you guys, look at me hassles, bro, before I... Hello? Okay, uh, we'll take the next caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hello? Hi. Hello? Yes, where are you calling Hello? from? I guess we have some people out there that uh, <laughs> get enjoyment out of calling our program. Uh, we're, anyway, we're very happy that you're watching our program, and uh, thank you very much for calling. Uh, do we have another caller? We have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Um, I'm calling from Kauai. OK, and your question? Um, what kind of um, sweet potato was that she put in her bacalao salad? Oh, you, uh, what she used was uh, yellow sweet potato and uh, regular uh -huh. white sweet potato. Or you can also use the uh, purple uh, Okinawan potato if you wish. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you for calling from... Aloha. Aloha. Thank you for calling from Kauai. And uh, I think we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Oh, yeah, this is Ren Takahashi. OK, and your question? Um, yeah. No, make me poof. OK, uh, there is another caller. I guess maybe uh, next year we ought to just uh, not have any more phone calls and we can eat a little faster. But anyway. Uh, we'll keep going. Uh, do we have another caller? Uh, we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Good evening, Dr. Fuji. I'm Hi. calling from Plum City. Okay, and your quest uh, question? Um, in one of the emails, you attached your program, uh -huh. but I was unable to um, open it up. Oh, what you couldn't... Uh, you use? Do you have uh, Word, uh, the Word processor, uh, Word? Microsoft Word? Yes. Yes. Then uh, you should be able to open it up. You weren't oh. able to? Well, email I it to me. I didn't have any e success. 
email it to me again, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, email it back to you. Okay, thank you. Um, I would like to uh, say thank you very much to Margie and her friends. Okay. They do a really good job, and every time they come on, they seem to be doing more dishes, and um, I love that fish soup. It really um, reminded me of the good old days. Thank you. Thank you, so thank you for thank calling. You very much. Uh, do we have another caller? Uh, we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. I'm calling from Kaunakakai. OK. My thing is, Mr. Fuji, please accept phone calls next year. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Promise I could be nice. Yeah, uh, so, so you folks can have some fun out there, huh? Okay, uh, just for you, we'll, we'll probably do it some more. Thank you for calling. Uh, we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. How's it coming? Calling from Hilo. Um, can you put the fish soup recipe on, please? Okay, I'll put the fish soup uh, recipe on for the caller here. And uh, let me see if I can zoom into it. Uh, okay, can you uh, can you read that? Oops. Yeah. You straighten it out there so you don't have to look sideways. There we go. So, uh, do you have another question for our uh, guests this evening? Uh, they did a great job. Thank you very much for calling. Uh, yeah, we can't wait to uh, try out all of these dishes. We have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hello, you're Hello. on the air. Hello? Hi, where are you calling from? I'm calling from downtown Hilo. OK. Uh, I was wondering about all your styles of recipes. Uh-huh. Uh, what? Uh, cultural upbringing is it? Well, this is, uh, we have all kinds of cooking here. We can call it cosmopolitan. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you for calling. Actually, tonight we have a lot of uh, local dishes. Uh, some are from uh, uh, Margie's family recipes, and uh, uh, I know Margie and gang, she always has uh, a lot of good local recipes out there, so I always try to get her to come on some uh, uh, during the uh, semester so she can share these recipes with you. And I think we have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hello, you're on the air. Uh, you have all kinds of cooking here. You call it Okay, well, thank you for calling. Actually, tonight we have a lot of uh, wonderful dishes. Uh... Wow. Thank you for calling. We appreciate your call. Do we have another caller? We have another caller, so we'll take the caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. I'm calling from the big eye. Okay, and your question? Uh, where do you guys catch the tapio from? Bayfront. What was that? Where did we get the papillo? Oh, from? where was the papillo caught? The papillo was caught uh, bayfront here in Hilo. Oh, uh, <laughs> you guys used the head too. The whole fish went in. Yes. Except you cleaned it out, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> got it out and <laughs> got it out. Yeah. What do you guys use for bait? Uh, we we uh, Margie, you know what your uh, what they use for bait to catch papio? <laughs> it's not live bait. It's one of those small little flyers or oh, whatever she, you call she that. Oh, she used uh, a little. Uh, mm. you fish it with her. Yeah. What do you call that? Uh, well, a lure. Yeah, the lure. Okay. Yeah, one, one of those little uh, plastic lures Small, or little, something. Small little, yeah, green thing. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Does that answer the question? Yeah, okay, thanks. 
Okay, well, thank you for calling. And I think we have another caller. Uh, could you could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. I am calling from Hilo. Okay, and your question? Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, thank you very much for calling. We appreciate your call. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think we have another caller. Do we have another caller? We have another caller. Boy, we're getting all kinds tonight. Uh, like I said before, it's like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're going to get, but uh, we'll go on. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please. Hi, I'm calling from Hilo. Okay, and your question? On her Hawaiian Tropic salad. Uh-huh. Her dressing was salt and pepper, balsamic vinegar, yes. olive oil. Yes. Is there special measurements on it? Uh, uh, Margie, can you go over the measurement for the uh, dressing? You've got balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, uh, one cube, uh, one clove of garlic grated and salt and pepper to taste. How much uh, balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil do you put in your mix? <laughs> I hate and miss. Um, half a cup of balsamic vinegar and, and about one fourth cup of extra virgin oil and salt and pepper to taste. And one clove and grated, of garlic. I grated, grated. Uh, one clove garlic and then just mix it up to your taste. Does that answer the question? Sure does. Okay, do you have another question for Margie? Job, and we're learning a lot of new recipes. Mahalo for a great job. Okay, well, thank you for calling from Hilo. Thank and you. We have another uh, two more minutes, so uh, we have some time for a few more calls. Uh, do we have another caller? We have another caller. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from? And go ahead with the question, please. Hello. Hi, where are you calling from? Hello? Yes, you're on the oh, air. Hi. I'm sorry, I'm calling from Keokaha. Okay. And I turned in a little bit late, so do they have a restaurant? Uh, Margie, uh, no, Margie doesn't have a restaurant. Uh, do you plan on opening up a, a restaurant, Margie? <laughs> no, but I'll be doing a cookbook in the future. Hopefully. Oh, okay. And what what will it be entitled? I haven't thought of the name, but I have sort of a name. But we're getting ready to put uh, a cookbook together. Okay. And, thank you. Uh, Your recipes really look delicious. Thank you. I'll have thank that you. in the uh, cookbook too. Okay. Well, thank you for calling from uh, Keokaha, and we have time for one more question. Do we have another caller? I, we have one more caller. This will be the last call. Uh, could you let us know where you're calling from and go ahead with the question, please? Hi, doctor. Hi. Just wanted to tell you that the show is awesome, and um, tonight's um, presentation was awesome. Just wanted to go over with that soup. Uh, the uh, soup. Uh, the soup. Uh, if we can have the Elmo, we'll just put it on the Elmo, and then we're going to have to close. Uh, this is uh, Jack Fuji saying thank you for watching, and I want to thank Margie Hanselman, Minoru Hironaga, Edna Hironaga, Vicky Kalika, Millie Kanal, and Charlotte Fujioka for joining us this evening and sharing uh, the recipes with us. Uh, so we hope that you'll join us next Thursday evening when we'll have Sonia Martinez, the uh, Tribune Herald uh, food writer, uh, come join the feast. So. Uh, we hope that you'll join us next Thursday evening. This is Jack Fuji saying thank you for watching and have a good evening. And the, uh, and the paper plates. <laughs>